hey guys welcome to simtech channel this is going to be a quick tutorial a quick tutorial on how easily you can change a PWM signal into a constant DC signal just using an RC filter which is basically a combination of a resistor and a capacitor to form a low pass filter basically you're going to set up a frequency that can go through so frequency above that threshold can go through so i've got uh, an arduino setup here that is outputting a pwm signal on pin 11 and i'm feeding it into a low pass filter as you can see here so i've got a resistance so this one here so this one here is a connection for my resistor basically it's a variable resistor a potentiometer and i've got the capacitor ceramic capacitor that is uh, equal to 68 nanofarad there so by changing the value of my resistor here i can set up my cutoff frequency for the signal that can go through that rc network so this is why it's called a low pass filter only low signal will go through so i've connected two oscilloscope probes uh, one from the input so that we can see the input pwm signal that is this one here is on channel two okay and one on the output so that is channel three we can see the signal that is coming out of the rc network here so if we go quickly on the the scope here we can see the pwm signal so we can see the pwm signal that is coming from the arduino that is a signal of 3.9 kilohertz but if you look at the signal on channel 3 basically the oscilloscope is unable to determine what, what the frequency of that signal and uh, the reason is because we've set our channel division for the frequency uh, for for the, the time period 200 microseconds so there's no way we're going to read that frequency because it's very slow and basically it's a constant dc signal now if i start changing my potentiometer resistance you can see the shape of the dc signal the constant signal on channel 3 is changing and i can basically uh nullify my pw my rc resistance to basically uh, set the signal back to a pwm equal to a pwm signal and now if you look at the signal on channel 3 both they have a frequency of 3.9 kilohertz so which means effectively there is no more rc filter so the frequency is going through to the second signal now if i just swing it back you're going to see now i'm getting now a constant DC signal and the frequency is now very slow it's no longer 3.9 kilohertz it's too slow that the scope can't even read it now this is a simple RC signal so what we are doing here is a digital to analog convert we are converting so you can see there the PWM is now outputting a voltage of 3.6 and if you look at the oscilloscope also there we've got uh, an average voltage that is 3.7 the voltage level so the duty circle is increasing now pwm is good don't make no mistake pwm is good for driving um, back and push converters and all sort of things and sometimes you just need a constant dc signal that you can actually control so you know an arduino pin can either give you a 5 volt or a 0 volt but pwm will give you a voltage that is changing based on the duty circle but the only problem with that is uh, it got highs and low and that is not very ideal for driving an op amp or directly driving effect especially if it's not a back or boost converters so you will want a constant signal that is analog so it's changing so you can see this signal came from zero and it's going all the way uh, 
it's going all the way up to the the full PWM signal level that the Arduino will output that will be equal to 5 volt. Now this is very good for designing voltage regulators, constant current source and all sorts of things because you can basically set up a PWM value that is going to be equal to a specific analog or constant value and that value you can drive um, an op amp that will then drive a MOSFET and give you a constant current and feedback loop to set up also the voltage. So normally if you need an analog signal, you out of a PWM signal, you will use a digital to analog converter. But a simple RC, uh, RC circuit network is going to give you also some very good result as you've seen I've demonstrated here. Now what you see here, this board here, um, it's an electronic load that I was trying to experiment with and I got into a situation where I was switching a uh, FET with a PWM signal without using a FET driver and I connected because these electronic loads have a capacity to drive almost 200 watt of power so a lot of switching current so I was switching a very high current of about 6 amps um, very fast with the PWM signal. So what happened is uh, this connector here, the jumper, burn, and it burned precisely because I was switching a very high current. But using a constant analog signal that is not controlled by the PWM frequency, but it is moving with the PWM duty circle, you'll be able to achieve a very smooth uh, current uh, that is going to be flowing from your fed so you're not going to have a th those switching heat that is created because of the high currents switching on and off so that is basically the advantage of using simple rc network circuit like this but obviously you can use a dedicated an a digital to analog converters Sorry guys for, for the shaking, um, basically. Okay, so guys, that is it for this tutorial. And uh, if you've learned anything and you found it interesting, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated.